Since this will be a shorter review, I thought I'd quickly go over my new ranking system. I may also post videos re-ranking previously covered figures accordingly, though some examples will be shown here. Starting from the bottom of the barrel, we have Rust. Perhaps not 100% bad, but still, avoid like the hate plague. Tin. A disappointing purchase, though has more redeeming value than toys of the previous rank. Bronze. Neutral territory. I neither like nor hate the figure, it's just okay. Silver. Pretty good. Not a must-have, but I still recommend the toy. Gold. Save for some minor gripes, these are very good figures worth the hunt. Rune. Top tier for not just its line, but perhaps the entire franchise. From here on out, you're probably not going to see Rust and Rune that much, as there aren't many figures that truly hit either end of the scale for me. But for Rune at least? I think I know a con. Sometimes you see reviewers return to something they covered negatively, claiming they weren't harsh enough the first time. For me in the 2010 Terror Dive mold, it's the complete opposite. I don't think I gushed enough when I covered the Depth Charge repaint. As mainline molds go, Terror Dives is right up there with Cybertron Sideways as one of my all-time favourites. I said in my Hailstorm review that bots done in the movie aesthetic but don't actually appear in the films, or as I like to call them, the non-screen characters, tend to be better since the designs don't adhere to any existing character models. They can do whatever they want and Terror Dive tops them all. Whereas most Jet Transformers have prominent and or low hanging undercarriage junk, Terror Dive's Sukhoi SU-47 alternate mode is one of the sleekest to date. Mainly because the legs peg in at the sides with the front of the shins facing out, not unlike Cybertron sideways. You might think this makes them too wide, but the main body is so slender on its own that the legs make up enough bulk for the jet to look and feel substantial, but still aerodynamic. Naturally, Terror Dive sports the same two features as Depth Charge, retractable landing gear and weapon storage underneath, via the recurring C-clip system in 2010, Generations, and Reveal the Shield. The robot mode is also a sight to behold. Traditional jet transformers follow the scheme of cockpit chest, arms and legs fold out from underneath, with the wings hanging off the back one way or another. While the tail fins create the illusion of that last trait, the actual wings rest beside his legs, similar to... Cybertron sideways. Huh. The twin engines become arms, though much less doofy looking than Armada thrusts and the way the nose cone and canards all fold up into a buff chest is inspired. Terror Dive's overall profile is that of a swift yet powerful gladiatorial combatant. The head sculpt in particular is just ruthless, like he's this universe's Lord Straxus. As I said with Depth Charge, the bot design evokes a Retiarius, even if that's mostly the trident spear accessory he wields. If he wasn't the first to come with such a weapon, it was certainly a rarity at the time. Posability is top-notch too. The head and hips are ball-jointed, the arms swing in and out, his knees are hinged while the elbows are double-hinged, and the shoulders, wrists, and thighs are on swivels. If you want to count his feet, they rock back and forth. I guess the only quote-unquote knock against this toy is, well, I've been spoiled on Depth Charge's deco. The colours fit the maximal to a T, and it was such pure eye candy that this seems underwhelming by comparison. That's not to say this isn't striking at all, with the orange and black combo. Like Cybertron Cy- Okay, there's a pattern for sure. Though you also have some white, grey, silver, with some red accents, and the trident tines have a purple gradient effect, which I assume to be a bled substance, not Energon as it's typically blue, from his victims. Hardcore. If it wasn't clear by now, I love this mold, and Terror Dive himself is a worthy contender for my top 5 live action movie toys, period. A near perfect jet mode, ingenious transformation, and a characterful, poseable robot with unique weaponry all amount to a figure truly deserving of a Rune Medal. I still recommend the Depth Charge repaint over this, but you know what? Get both. Just get both. The mold's that good. W what are you waiting for? Stop watching this. 
Go on, click off now. Hurry, go get these figures while you can. Yes, I did this joke with MB Lambor. Stop the video, stop.